Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and another video on Dungeon Hunter Champion. So what have I been up to with all these events going on at the moment? The Halloween event is well underway and I'm grinding out quite well. I don't think I'm going to be able to spend 25 uh, mils worth of gold. Uh, at the same time, I don't think I'm going to be able to do 15. Yeah, okay, I'll probably do about 2 mil and 1.5 mil is for definite. So I've done quite well in spending my gold and making sure that's kind of like helpful. Nine days to go. I'm probably predicting about 2 mil I'll hit with 1.1 quite easy to get. And this event is like a calendar thing in amongst other calendars. So the fight, the king of the fighters is on at the moment. Uh, I'll probably complete that in the nine days required. And then as well the Halloween calendar. Yeah, really happy about this. It's going to mean that we're going to get some decent stuff out of it. And as well, a lot of gold, which uh, as we can see with the gold there, will help out with doing the Halloween event by spending gold. So yeah, lots going on in game. So I'm excited about this. I'm excited for a game that's got so many different calendars, so many things given out to the player base and really rewards those that want to grind out the game. Just as this appears, so Gameloft are putting this out at the moment, which is Win Gems. Uh, there must be a YouTube video for this, like Trick or Treat giveaway. So that's cool. Like I really rate games that really do give back to their players and really entice them to want to grind out. At the moment, I'm developing a new team. This new team is going to be about slaying the dragon. And one unit I've been focusing on is this here. So this is a Valkyrie that I have, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've seen like huge ratings for. This is a dark version. It's got down Epic Dragon Slayer. Obviously, they've got down as a must-have. And there's there's just so much going for this. There's no kind of elemental disadvantage, which is so great when going up against a uh, Epic Dragon that has got dark. So that's that's positive. Also, I'm developing this little unit for Arena Defense. So, Arena Defense with that bad boy and that bad boy there are going to be pretty darn tasty. Added in with the Valkyrie and then added in with maybe a second Valkyrie or the Boon Sister. So, we've got this tank meets tank meets support or kind of like healing meets healing. And I need to decide on the other one. But I am benchmarking my... My champions around being the strongest that can be for defense to improve myself getting better ratings in arena. But talking about what I'm up to is not the scheme of the video. We've got discs to open as I need to improve my units. So we're going to do some common ones to start off with. We're going to go over to the rare and finish off with trying to get the vampire. And also trying to at least for the last time or like, well, I'm hoping it's not the last time. Go for the king of fighters and getting one of the various champions. So let's begin. And also this helps out with spending gold. As we know, the gold event is on at the moment. So anything will do. I'm hoping for a blue shark out of this. Though I can't remember what the name of the shark is. Uh, it will come to me. It's like the one thing I, I can't remember. The, the names of things. But it's handy. Like I've done my uh, Grublin Shaman. That's a champion. As you can see, there's, there's two of these right over there. I've improved the skill. So when, just to explain this, if anybody is not familiar, say if you've got a specific champion and then you train up, so you level up with one of the other ones, it increases the skill number. So to give you an example, as you can see here, this is a devil. If I was then to take that devil and then absorb it into this devil here, when I'm trying to get a load of devils up, it will just increase the skill number. So the skills will largely go up. So as you can see, the numbering here, which says one, would go to something like two. So that really explains that. That's one of the biggest mistakes I made when I first started playing. Uh, but you've got to learn from your mistakes. You make mistakes, you get better, you learn, you carry on. You change your units around to reflect better improvements. And one thing that I do forget sometimes is when I get a new units to improve the gear. And, oh, I've actually got what I want. That, <laughs> this is good. Really good. So this is what I really wanted, a shark. As this is a 5 versus 5 and it's actually really darn, darn good. The water version is fantastic. So I'm going to create this unit as a strong element to my 5 versus 5. Uh, and I, I've been in so many 5 versus 5 and that shark has ended up just absolutely obliterating me each time. So I'm really happy to pick up a shark and I'm really happy to absorb, as I said, absorbing other units into him to then try and improve the skill levels. So uh, good news is good news. 
as we pick up the last five of these. There we go with the last one, which is the A Grublin Shaman, which I don't actually need at the moment. I just want to have a quick look over at uh, this one of the uh, one of the content contributors there, who's uh, live. Claytano's live at the moment. And champions wise, let's try and find this champion that I was referring to. This one here. So shark and the rating. Even though it doesn't seem to be like that impressive or rated, I rate it. I think that it's a decent champion and when I start kind of gearing it up and then putting it into five versus five, you'll see that it will just like it'll kick ass completely. And I'm looking to then absorb into it other shark units so for example we've got a shark there um, just to kind of like double check this so I don't look like a complete pleb which is a, a regular thing with me uh, if we find that said champion here we then train there put that in All right so there's the level up there press OK and as you can see the, uh, the final bite has been increased by one. So that's what I'm going to be doing now is improving that. Every time I get a shark is to put it into that one, make it better than a five versus five. Hopefully it's going to kick lots of ass. And also from a gear perspective, this is really easy gear to find. Vital gear is easy to find and also brutal gear is easy to find. So I'm going to be able to really improve this champion. Uh, with some decent stuff as you can see here. Let's move on to the rares now. Hopefully I can pick up a five from this, six chances to do that. And hopefully we can see some lights, because as you know, lights mean, well red lights mean it's gonna be a four or a five. Here we go. It is gonna be, it's gonna be a three I think. It's a boon sister and it's a grass type or leaf type and it's a three. Next one. No red, damn it, no red. Uh, what's that? A sentinel. Not going to be something I'm going to use, but probably use it to kind of absorb to promote other units. Come on, go red, please. No, it's not gone red. That's a shame, but it's okay. Uh, this will just be absorbed as well. Mercenary. It's good. Well, maybe I will. Like, I don't know. Um, I'm open to the, the idea of developing a mercenary. I've not considered it before. But maybe this is the time to consider it. Once I've done my Valkyries, I'll then be more interested in it. Can we get red? No, we can't go red. That's annoying. And we pick up a uh, a leaf or kind of a grass like spearman. Uh, could be interesting. Good arena offensive and good co-op raider. And I am just about to get into some co-op raiding. So, yeah, okay. We need gold. Right, now that we've picked up a bit more gold, we can then continue on. So, here we go. Not going red, which is annoying, but... Oh, it's a sentinel again. My word, so many sentinels. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'd develop it further. I don't know, that's the second sentinel I've got. A fire type. Another boon. Jesus. Well, it's handy for my other boon sister, because then I get to improve that a little bit. But I don't really rate it too much. Either way, that has been that. Uh, should I get a rare disc or not? Nah, I think I'll say I think I'll save it. I think I made another chance of let's do two let's do like another chance in a moment of uh, of the vampire. But let's see, can I get a uh, Fable King of Fighters? This is what I'm looking forward to getting. But it's a Valkyrie instead. Um which isn't too bad actually. I haven't considered doing a fire type of Valkyrie, so that may be something I should look to do. Okay, next one. Come on, please. Can this be it? No, yes, no, yes, no. It's a fox assassin. That's a bit disappointing, but we still got the last one to do. This is when all things could change. So let's do this. Let's just go and get try and get a vampire, please. Come on. It's a three. And it is a bit no, that's not a fairy, is it? It's a magical girl. Uh, and it's a must-have five versus five. Well, I am looking to do some five versus five. I was interested in the shark, but you know, maybe we'll see. I'll have a look at the stats of this, so it stacks out. Come on, vampire! We want a vampire. We want to see a vampire. Uh, a boon sister. That's fire, which is all right. I've got uh, one I'm working on at the moment, so yeah, that's handy for the skill levels. Three more to go. Maybe four. I may do a cheeky one. 
But where's the red, my friends? Where's the red? There's a ranger. Which, uh, I'm getting loads of rangers. Come on, man! Where's the falls and upwards? No red. I'm seeing no red at the moment. And what I'm meaning is that there's red lights going through. That means you're going to get a four or a five. Damn. Okay. Last one of the the uh, pumpkins. Stand with me. I okay. Dragon guard. Not great. I like my fire dragon guard, which will probably be... I'll absorb this into the skill level. So the arena defensive is uh, on point. Oh... Not great. Okay, let's go for... Um, I'm going to do this once, so come on. A bit of luck here with the gems. Buy one for a vampire. Can this go red for me? Come on. No, it can't. Right, very disappointing. Last opening was a bit disappointing as well, but still there's lots of capabilities. Uh, this is good in some ways because I'll, I'll be able to increase the skill level. Um, well, I think I'm able to increase the skill level with that. Either way, I'm quite happy with this, so what I've got. And moving on optimistically, you know, I can absorb a lot of these duff units that I've got. Utilizing stuff for arena offensive, defensive, boss rage, you know, with the bull. We've got the spider and also we've got the dragon. So, yeah, there's lots of, like, open uh, opportunities there for, for grinding out. Maybe even co-op raids in the future. Yeah. There's, there's lots of things that to be happy about and positive about. I still feel I'm probably about a month's worth of grind from feeling that I'm really kind of at that point where units are absolutely amazing for me. But that's, that's, that's going to come with time. Grinding up this game has been a fun experience. And if anybody wants to download the game, I'll put a link in the description below. And yeah, catch me on a live stream. Hopefully I can start live streaming this fairly soon. But in any case, thank you very much for watching. I've been Rich the Man. Like, share and subscribe. And I shall catch you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.